This video is about a project I took on when I was 11 years old and that greatly influenced the course of my life. In September of 1964, I saw this issue of Electronics Illustrated magazine in the magazine rack at the grocery store. I was very excited by the claim on the cover, only $5 to make a 10 watt ham transmitter on a cake pan. My mom made me promise that I would really build the scrounger before she agreed to buy the magazine for me. As promised, I built my scrounger within a few months. By this time I was 12 and studying for my novice license. My license came right around my 13th birthday. After a few days of CQs with no luck, one morning before school I made my first contact. WN5NAZ in Texarkana, Arkansas, which is several hundred miles away. It was a great feeling. There wasn't time to exchange addresses, but we happened to make contact again a few weeks later, and we QSL'd that contact. In early 2012, I set about to put my scrounger back on the air, but my 7195 kilohertz crystal was now outside the current 40 meter CW band. Then KH6SKY donated to me the 7037 kilohertz crystal that I now use. I made several contacts over the next few weeks and we exchanged QSL cards just like the old days. I was especially happy to reach Coos Bay, Oregon with my scrounger. I made this antenna coupler using the same circuit as the one mentioned in the Scrounger article. I still had the speaker from my original build of the Scrounger's keying monitor, so I used it in my 2012 rebuild. My success with this project all those many years ago greatly reinforced my interest in radio and electronics engineering and eventually led to a very successful and rewarding career in the aerospace industry. I'm happy that I kept my scrounger all these years.